Hey everybody, welcome back to my channel. Today we're going to be taking a look at how to turn on field tracking history for an object. If you haven't done so already, make sure you hit that subscribe button and turn on the notification bell. I'm putting out new Salesforce content each week and let's jump into the video. All right, so if you're not signed into your sandbox, go ahead and get signed in. But when you're in your sandbox, whatever object you are wanting to turn on the field tracking history for, you're going to want to go to it in Object Manager. So today, I'm going to turn it on for my custom object called Broker. And it's right here. You're going to go ahead and click your object. And then when you're sitting on the first screen under the Details section, you're just going to hit Edit. And when you scroll down to the bottom here under the optional features section, there is a track field history checkbox. Go ahead and check that checkbox and go ahead and hit that save button. So the next thing we need to do is edit the page layout. We need to add the broker history to the page layout. So we're going to go in and edit the page layout. And if you click on related list, there's now a broker history and we can just drag and drop that in. And we're just going to go ahead and hit the save button. And we're going to save that. Now let's go to the lightning record page here and we're going to edit the lightning record page to add the renew related list in. All right, so we're going to add in a related list single. And then right here we have a few different things. So use the this broker parent record and the related list is approval history. We're going to clear that and we're actually going to put in broker history here. And then now we are going to hit save. Let's go back over here and let's actually go create a brand new broker record. And we're going to hit new. And we're going to fill in some information. I'm not going to put a picture in, but we're going to call it James Travis. Put in a phone number here. And then title will come HR rep. And we're going to hit save. All right, so when we go to the related tab, you can see that the record was created by me. Now we'll go back under the details section and we're going to hit edit and we're going to actually put change something here. We're going to input the mobile number. Uh, we'll put it in here. And then we're go also going to change the regular phone number and hit save. And when we go back to the related tab, you can see the new value for the phone where it changed and the original blank value for the mobile phone number. And this is a really powerful tool uh, for you as an admin. So you can see what users are changing and go back and look at records in the past and say, oh, so-and-so changed this value back on this date. And it's a really great tool for data integrity. I've also included a link down in the description for this track field history custom object um, little a note from helps.salesforce.com on how to turn it on just in case you need it. There also is some great trailheads out there to do if you want to do that. But if you enjoyed this video, make sure to leave the video a like. I really appreciate you taking the time to watch this video and I will see you in the next one.